everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day many of you guys have been requesting for me to share an updated hair tutorial with you guys. I posted a video last year kind of going through my experience with the Dyson and some tips and tricks about how I use it and how it has benefited me and how it's changed my hair game. So if you guys have not seen that video, I will link it in the description box down below because that video kind of gives you tips and tricks and the basics on how how to use it. That's like a beginner video. This video is more of an uh, intermediate to um, advanced where you've had it for a while and you're wanting to kind of up your game with your Dyson. If you're new to Dyson and you've never used it and you're going to buy it or you just bought it, I would watch the first video and then watch this one because the first video is really going to give you the tips and tricks that I found that really helped me to use the Dyson. Now, I have said it a thousand times and I'm going to say it again. Last year, during the Sephora sale, I bought this Dyson. Now this is an actual extra piece that I had to buy. So this was the bronze one. This year they have this gorgeous blue one. Oh my gosh, that blue one is so pretty. It makes me wanna buy it when I don't need it. Uh, but this has a lot of different you know, compartments to it. And this has changed my hair game forever. I am so mad at myself that it took me that long to buy the Dyson. It's one of those products that's so expensive that it keeps you from buying it. But once you buy it and you learn how to use it, holy moly, it is like a game changer. And this has been probably to date my favorite beauty purchase ever. This is something I use every single time I wash my hair. This barrel, so this is the longer barrels, they do what comes with it is the shorter barrels. So if you have longer hair, I recommend buying the longer barrels to have as an extra attachment. The volume that this gives is unbelievable. You know, I went to cosmetology school. I used to have a short A-line haircut and I became kind of a master at using a round brush and blow drying. Never have I ever been able to get the volume that I get with using these air wraps and having it last. And I'm so mad at myself that I did not get it before now. There's been many people that, you know, from friends and family and stuff that heard me raving about it and bought it and they are absolutely in love with it. It's like, it's just one of those products that once you use it, you're just like, holy moly, it's incredible. So in the last video that I posted last year, I only used it pretty much on the top portions of my hair. And back then I was wearing clip-in extensions. Now I have weft extensions in. I never used the barrels all over my hair. I only used it on the top to give me the volume. Well, I would say about a month or two ago, probably two or three, probably two months ago, I decided to curl my whole hair with it. Meaning that I dried my entire hair using the barrels and I am so mad at myself that it took me a year to figure that out. Here I've had the Dyson for a year and it took me a year to use it all over my hair. I mean, look at this volume. It is unbelievable. It's so beautiful. And everywhere I go, people will say, oh my gosh, how do you get your hair to be so bouncy? Look at this bounce, right? It's called the Dyson at its best. No matter the length of the hair, you can create this exact same hairstyle. So, I mean, let's just say for example that my hair was cut off to this length, you're gonna still have the cutest hair. So no matter how long your hair is, this hairstyle will work for you. It works for short hair, it works for long hair. Now, of course, if you have really short hair, then no. But if your hair will wrap around a curling iron, it will work with the Dyson. And I, absolutely love the Dyson. I wish I would have bought it a long time ago. And with the Sephora sale coming up, this is a perfect time to pick it up. Now, I was able to buy mine last year during the sale. So I don't know if this year they've excluded Dyson products on the sale, I don't know. But I wanted to put this video up during the sale so that if in fact you can use the 20% off code to get it during the Sephora sale, this is the perfect time to get it, you guys. If you guys have not bought the Dyson, I mean, Sephora does have payment plans. I'm just here to tell you, it is a game changer with your hair. Now, also, I will share all of my favorite hair care products 
and what I use to do my hair and I will also link them in the description box down below if you're interested. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into how I have been using my Dyson lately. I want to first talk about my hair. So my hair is, I would say maybe 20% dry because I have been putting on my makeup and I did have it up in a hair towel, but I just took it down. Now I do have weft extensions in. So as you can see, I have one right here. It really hides in my dark hair. It's really hard to see them, but I have one here. I have a row here. So I have three rows of the hair wefts. So I'm gonna start with the products that I, and I have a lot of hair products, you guys. I use a lot of hair products. I am guilty of being that person. I look at my hair products as makeup. It's like a step routine, right? And I need certain products for certain things. So it's like, I need a foundation, I need a blush, I need a bronzer. You know, it's just like this step process to get the right hair style. And that's just me. I might be a little excessive, but it is what it is. So let me first start with what I use to wash my hair. So many of you guys know the Olaplex system is my absolute favorite. I've been using this for a couple of years now. My hair has completely changed. My hair is completely different. My hair is so much better and so much healthier and it's got this beautiful shine. Yes, I use things to add shine to it. My hair is so much stronger. It's the best sound on the market in my opinion. So this is the hair shampoo and conditioner and these are very concentrated so you don't need very much of this. You can buy these on the Sephora website. And of course, everything I talk about, I will link in the description box down below, but I also, love the number three. The number three was like their first product. It's kind of like the hair masks of all hair masks. This, in my opinion, is the game changer. And then when you incorporate the shampoo and conditioner with it, oh, it's like a dream team. Let's talk about the dream coat from Color Wow. This is one of my favorite products. Now this is a sample size. This is like my travel size because I'm out of the big one. This you use every three washes and you you spray a liberal amount all over your hair and it kind of coats the hair and maintains that shine. I also just discovered this product. I actually didn't bring it down with me, but I will put it here on the screen. Um, this is a product that I discovered to actually give myself a shine treatment at home. Every time I get my roots colored, she always puts a shine treatment on it. It's like a clear coat. And I love it so much, but I only get my roots done about every two months, sometimes three, it just depends. Wanted to find a product that I could use in between. So I found this and you put it on without mixing it with anything. So of course it's a shine treatment that you do not need to put um, any like peroxide or any developer with it. You just basically put it in a bowl and just start painting it on your hair. I leave it for about 20 minutes and wash it. I actually bought it on Amazon, so I will link it in the description box down below. It is the best that I have found to really give that shine. So between that and the Color Wow, I'm good. My hair really but shines. The first thing I do is just to protect the extensions, um, because this is, it's real hair, but it's extensions, and I want them to last as long as possible. Before I comb them out, I do go in with a detangler just so that I'm not pulling too hard on them. Um, I just love a good detangler. I think a detangler really, really helps to kind of preserve those extensions. And I like to run my brush through but holding it so that I'm not pulling on the hair too hard. So I'm using the Prep Rally. This is from Dry Bar. This is the Prime and Prep Detangler. So next up, I am gonna go in with this from Colorproof. This is a root boosting mousse, and I really like this one. I used to one, I used to use one from Joyco, but I can't find it. I think they might have discontinued it, which kind of ticks me off. But yeah, as you can see, it has this point on it to where it like gives you a direct shot. So I like to place that in my roots here. So I'll put it like right there, kind of sectioning it off. If you don't have extensions. I would recommend putting this all over your hair. It's kind of hard for me to get it in between the wefts, and so I just don't use it everywhere else, but you could use it on your sides and in your back if you don't have extensions. This is a great root lifter. I like to like have that separate, but I like to have the mousse in there 
and having it kind of set on the hair while I'm working on the rest of it. So I'm gonna grab this thermal spray. This is from Rusk, but any thermal spray will work. I don't really have like a preference on thermal sprays, but I just always recommend using a thermal spray. Um, any kind of heat protectant you can find. I mean, a heat protectant is a no brainer, you guys. By the way, the brush I'm using is from Briogeo. Now I have the Color Wow brush and I kind of go back and forth between the Color Wow brush, like the paddle brush, it's like, it's like a silver color, or this Briogeo brush. Okay. The key with it is not having your hair soaking wet. So your hair has to be like 50% dry in order to use these. It, I feel like when my hair is too wet, they just don't wrap up. But if it's like halfway dry, it will really wrap up. And then I use this to kind of finish the drying process. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this to the place where it will wrap up really good and I'll be right so back. So I have my earbuds in because while I'm drying my hair, I watch TV on my phone. <laughs> Am I the only one that does that? I get so bored, so I have to keep my brain distracted. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair in half. These are the air wrap tools and they have arrows as you can see. Now, this one, if I hold it this way, which I'm gonna be holding it, I'm gonna be holding the dryer like this, the curls would go towards my face. I liked all my curls to go away from my face. So now I have the right tool because the arrows are going this way. So it's gonna wrap the hair away from my face. So I like to start from the back. So I take a chunk about like this, okay? And then I go ahead and clip this. Now I did not bring my other smaller clip that I have. So I'm hoping this one will hold my other hair because I don't like my hair in the way, you know, but I do like to start from the back. So I take a chunk about like this, about this thickness. I would say maybe about an inch thick and wide. Make sure I've combed it through good like this. And then I grab the air wrap and I bring it to about right here, turn it on and let the hair wrap up in there. And then I just kind of allow it to kind of go inside and then I just hold it. And I hold it for, depends on how wet the hair is, but I hold it for probably 20 to 30 seconds. And then the last 10 seconds I push up to the cool shot. Uh, which I will explain in just a minute. The cold shot is a very important tool. The cold shot is very important. So when you know that your hair is pretty well dry, always do the cold shot for about 10 seconds. And then I like to hold it and then just let it fall like this. And then I put it behind me because I got this stuff up here. And then I move on to the next section. You're not gonna get the curl to hold as good if you don't use the cold shot. Let it suck up in there. Kind of help it in there and then hold it. So now I am going to go ahead and do that exact treatment all the way around my head. pieces right here I like to switch I like to hold it like this it just gives me a little bit more volume in the front but 
If I hold it like this, you can see the arrows are pointing down, which means it would go towards my face. So I'm gonna switch now and move to this one. These are all done and as you can see, look at all that volume. Is that amazing or what? The next tip is this, you guys. This is pricey. It's very pricey. This is the Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. Pricey, worth every penny. I have tried so many. I hate paying this price, okay? I've tried so many dry texturizing sprays. None of them work as good as this one. It just is what it is. So I give it a good shake, lift up the hair, and spray it. You don't need very much, which is a good thing because it does last a little bit longer. I spray that in there, kind of do this with it, and then I leave it like this and pull it back. Now I'm gonna move on to this side and the arrows are going away from my face. So I just got done with this side and it is nice and fluffy. Now I'm gonna spray. So let me show you guys what this looks like. Okay. So this, because I've had it pinned, is still pretty nice and damp. It's not wet, but it's kind of the perfect dryness to use the Dyson. How I do this is basically on top of my head. So this entire section right here, I hold the Dyson like this and I just take small sections. So it's all, I start in the back, but I hold it like this. Now the trick with this is to not get the sections too thick. So this section might even be too thick. I like to be able to kind of see through the hair all right, that section's a little bit better. So if I comb it, I can see through it. See how you can see through the hair? All right, I'm gonna kind of lean back and... Okay, now same thing, I pull it out. Same thing, let it dry, cold shot, and then pull it out and I like to hold it. And sometimes I just let it do that. I'm gonna grab this piece that I took out and just do this one really fast. Okay, so it's done. I'm just gonna kind of let it cool down because even if I put my fingers in there, it's still a little warm. So I don't wanna start kind of brushing this out until it's had a chance to cool. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with the texture spray. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I get done. <laughs> Now, this looks really pretty, right? But I like to go in and kind of piece it. So from this point, I am going to switch to my curling iron. So this is the curling iron. This is a long barrel, which is perfect for long hair. This is from Bio Ionic. I will link it in the description. Let me go through a few of my favorite styling products told you this is all about layers. This is probably my favorite styling wax because it comes in a spray. It is the best. I actually have to pick this up from my salon, but if they don't sell it online, I highly recommend calling around to local salons and seeing if you can find this because this is the best styling wax ever because it is a spray and it doesn't leave a film and it just gives that piecey look without getting thick. And uh, it's amazing. So this is called, this is from Kevin Murphy and it's called Touchable. It's the spray wax. 
it is the best and it also lasts forever i think i've had this for like eight months and i use it every time i do my hair the next one is just a shine spray i actually picked this up at cosmo pro it was on sale so i picked it up any kind of shine spray is great i just always love using a shine spray so what i like to do is go in and kind of spray the shine now then my hairspray I've been using this for years and years. This is Kenra Volume Spray. Uh, this is the 25, so this is a super hold. In my opinion, it's the best hairspray out there. I love it. It is super hold though, so if you don't like super hold hairspray, then they have different levels. In between, so like I said, I only wash my hair about every three or four days. So in between, this is amazing. This is the new Living Proof Perfect Hair Dry. It's an advanced clean, dry shampoo. It actually cleans the hair while it softens and shines. So I, the biggest thing about this is it does leave a white cast, which normally when I use a dry shampoo that leaves a white cast, I never use it again. Can't stand it because my hair is so dark. But this actually is the only dry shampoo out on the market that actually does make the hair feel clean. So when I run it through these roots, and once, and of course, because it does leave a white cast, I have to go in with my fingertips and kind of break that up. But once I break it up, my hair feels like I just washed and dried it. Like it actually feels clean. Not So not only does it absorb the oil like a dry shampoo, but it also cleans it. It's amazing. So I've been highly impressed with this. Just know that it will leave the white cast. It does go out. Like once you work your feet, like I just kind of go in like this and keep kind of running it through and it will break up. I don't use this obviously the day that I wash, but I do use it in between washes. And then finally we have the hair oil. This is from Oribe. This is an amazing hair oil. It doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy and gross. I would say these are my two. I have a lot of Oribe products. I like the dry shampoo. It's amazing. Um, I also have this from Oribe. This is the Thickening spray, which you spray this on the roots, you know, before you dry it, um, kind of like as a volume spray. But I would say out of everything I've used from Oribe, these two, which is the texture spray and the gold oil, these, the hair oil, these two are probably the ones that nothing else on the market comes close to beating because they just work the best. So I run a tiny bit of the oil through my hair. So I take just like one drop Okay, spread it out through my hands. And then I will kind of scrunch my hair with it. So I don't actually like pull the curls out with it, but I just kind of scrunch my hair with that oil. Okay, so this is when I kind of decide where my part is gonna be. So I kind of like let the hair kind of do its thing. But then this is when the styling, the spray styling wax comes into play. So I spray it. and then use that wax to kind of help me mold the hair. I start on one side. So I'm gonna pull that to the side and I'm gonna work on this side, okay? What I like to do is kind of work in sections. So I'll take this piece of hair and put it over here and then I'll come over here and I will go in with the curling iron coming in this way, wrap it around like this, leave it in for a second and pull. Okay, and then I like to spray it with that wax. And then I'm gonna do this piece. Just kind of grabbing pieces that look a little undone that need some extra TLC. Come in here in the front. And I kind of pull it through so it straightens the ends. So like you see this piece right here, the way that I curled it, it kind of gives that straight, it kind of makes the ends straight a little bit. I'm actually gonna curl this piece with a curling iron just to kind of give it some texture. Now, here's the thing about the Dyson. The Dyson, the curl doesn't last very long, but it's the volume that makes the hair 
so beautiful. So in these front pieces, I like to come in and curl these pieces because throughout the rest of the day, these, cur these, these curls will relax, but the volume you can never achieve with a curling iron, a blow dryer, nothing. So I'm gonna curl these pieces. Some I do a little bit more tight and some I do a little bit looser just to kind of give it that texture. And I don't leave it in very long because um, there's just really no need actually. So now I'm gonna curl these front pieces right through here. Now I'm gonna come in with that like styling wax spray kind of spray and like set those pieces. And then I'm gonna come in and kind of break this up. Curl this, but I'll probably do, do, do this one a little bit tighter. And then this one I'll do a little bit looser. So I like to, I like to kind of just have a, like not have all the curls the same because the Dyson curls will relax throughout the day. And then I'm gonna have different levels of curls. So some curls are gonna be tighter, some curls are gonna be looser. So then I'm gonna come in and grab this piece. And because I this is like real close to my face, wait, I'm gonna grab it, face. Because this is real close to my face, I'm gonna twist it right at the base and then just pull it out so that it kind of gives me that wing look. And then I'm gonna spray it with the wax. Okay, now I'm gonna work with this hair. And I like how letting the curling iron go through the hair but not like these pieces on the top, I don't have much curl in. So these pieces on the top, I'm just taking and sectioning them, right? So I've got this piece in my hand. I take the curling iron up, wrap it, curl it like this, and then run it through the curling iron so that it kind of gives it that swoop. But by taking these little pieces and spraying that wax, now if you don't have the spray wax, you can use wax, like the actual molded wax, and run it through the piece as you're placing it. Now I'm gonna go in and spray it with hairspray kind of set it. This side is done. And see that styling wax gives it that texture through the pieces. It's all about taking the small sections and piecing and curling each one of those small sections. But this will this will last me a couple of days. Even when I get in the tub at night, I will pin it and all I have to do is run the curling iron through a few of the pieces and it stays. Now I'm gonna come over and work on this side, pulling this up and kind of just flipping it over to the side. And I'm gonna work on this. The key is I do not comb this out. So as you've noticed, I have never taken my fingers through this or a brush through it or anything. I'm talking about the, the hair underneath. The only hair that I have messed with is pretty much the sides and the top. This to be kind of bouncy and kind of full 
and I'm okay with it being a looser coral because that's kind of the point of the Dyson. It's not intended to be really curly throughout the day. So even though when you get done using the Dyson, you'll have a lot of curls and it'll be really tight, it will relax. And the more it relaxes, the better it gets. What does remain is the bounciness of the hair. Let's just say that you've gotten in the bathtub or you've gotten in the hot tub and like your hair doesn't feel as bouncy as it was when you first did it, but you're only in like day two or day three and you wanna maybe make it work just one more day. I like to take a, a spray bottle and spray the top hair and like a few of the side pieces, right, this way and run the Dyson through it and have it dry it kind of all over again. You don't have to do the whole hair, um, but the tops and the sides and then go in with a little bit of the curling iron and it'll be right back to it again. So this like, is it, this is the final hair tutorial. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Of course, everything I used, I will link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.